Her familiar voice filled the arena at Red Wings games for decades. But if you are headed to a game this season, you probably aren't going to see her out on the ice. Red Wings public address announcers introduced her as the Red Wings own Karen Newman before she'd sing the national anthem. Yeah, but this year fans have been wondering where is she? Our Kim DiGiulio caught up with her to find out. Singing the national anthem for the Detroit Red Wings is something singer Karen Newman never took for granted. And while over the last couple of years she performed a lot less than she did in the past, she says that it appears that this year she won't be performing for the team at all. You know what? I just I just didn't get the call. It really just comes down to I I didn't they didn't call me to sing. Karen Newman started singing the national anthem for the Red Wings in 1989. Oh, say can you and became exclusive with the franchise in 1990. The Illich family and so many people in the Red Wings organization have been so good to me over the years. The exposure was unlike anything Karen could have dreamt of for herself, leading to many opportunities. Everything from you know, commercial endorsement deals to going on tour with Bob Seeger, which led to a tour with Kid Rock. Last year, once fans were welcomed back after the pandemic, Karen was asked to do a few games, which she did not take for granted. They called and said, we're going to do things a little differently. We're going to have some other singers and other groups and people who want to sing, and but we'd like to have you for a few of those special games. But this year, she hasn't heard from them. She's found herself wondering, is this the end? A decision she would fully respect if that is the organization's choice. My feeling was, dang, I really love this. I love doing this. As, as long as they call me, I'm going to be down there. And when they don't call me, then it's done. Nobody promised that I got to do this forever. Maybe they just need to make some major changes to what they do pre-game. But if they, if they decided that they wanted to invite me back for a game or two, that, of course I'd go. Are you kidding? I'd go in a heartbeat. You know. Now I have reached out to the Detroit Red Wings public relations team to comment on this matter. However, I have not heard back from them. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4. Newman, who's also released multiple solo albums, says she has no intention of slowing down.